Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a passive income stream with Coinbase. Now, please forgive me for my evil portfolio balance. We're just going to overlook that for a little bit. Basically, the way this is going to work is certain coins allow us to grow our portfolio without doing anything. And you can see this over here on the right. It's honestly really cool to watch just to see my balance go up every single second. Now, as you can tell, I haven't really generated a whole lot, about 11 cents. You know, it's not like gonna buy a new car yet. However, the reason this number is so low is because I just started and the number is based on what you have in your portfolio. So if you have a larger portfolio, then you're going to get a larger reward. So this is pretty competitive compared to what you might get interest rates in other investments. You should be expecting about 4.9% a year, which really is not that bad, especially if you're just holding cryptocurrencies, hoping they go up in value. Well, you might as well be growing your portfolio in the meantime. But there's one thing you need to know, and that is not all of your cryptocurrencies are going to contribute to this reward here. In fact, right now, the only cryptocurrency I have that's generating this reward is known as Tezos. So Tezos is, no, is an example of a proof of stake cryptocurrency. And I have videos on this, but basically when you own Tezos, it's going to generate more Tezos in your account, which you could then sell for United States dollar or whatever your fiat currency is, or trade it for another cryptocurrency. So this concept is known as staking. When you stake a coin, it's going to build over time. And Coinbase supports Tezos for staking. So you can see the total reward down here from this cryptocurrency. Now, if we go back to our portfolio and hit this little down arrow, you can see there's another option for USD coin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy now and I'm just going to do $10 here. Preview that buy and hit buy now. You know, I just gotta change my portfolio balance. I'm gonna have to get holy water out if I don't change it. All right, submit it, looks like it went through. So now what we can do is we can go into that asset, so open USD coin, scroll down, and you can see that this one is also generating a reward. Now, that being said, the return is very low, 0.15%. Comparing that to Tezos, if we go back to our portfolio and open Tezos, you can see that this is 4.9%. So if you want to hold cryptocurrencies, you're not really sure what to hold, it might be in your best interest to buy some proof of stake cryptocurrencies and watch those grow over time. So this is where the reward is listed and it just keeps going up, but you'll notice that your Tezos balance doesn't actually change. And just to get a little bit of extra information on that, there's a question mark here. Clicking that shows you that your first reward should appear 35 to 40 days after each purchase and then three to six days onwards after that. So at some point your rewards will be added to your balance. So this is a great introduction to staking. It's a great way to build passive income. However, there is one problem and not to be a downer here, I think Coinbase is fabulous. I recommend Coinbase. It's one of the easiest ways to get started with cryptocurrency and investing with cryptocurrency. But I think the fees for the staking are a little bit on the high end. And it's unfortunate because it's not really transparent when you're staking with Coinbase, but this 4.9% is actually lower than what you might get on other exchanges because Coinbase is keeping a hefty percentage of that. So just to get a little bit of extra information, you can go to coinbase.com forward slash staking. It talks about getting rewards with Tezos, but if you scroll through here, you'll notice that there is a fee and you can find it in the user agreement. So it's kind of hidden and I'm just going to search through this and you will see that the fee is a 25% commission. So you are losing quite a big percentage of your reward. 25% might not be a whole lot, but that's 25% that you're not going to have compounding for you. And that could add up to a lot over time. So here are my final thoughts to conclude this. If you're on Coinbase already, you have coins in here and this is just where you want to store the coins and you want to broaden your portfolio and get some staking coins, then by all means, do it. But if you're hoping to do this as a form of long-term investment, maybe have it as a passive income stream, oh Claire, 
why do you pester me day in and day out? So as I say, in passive income stream, well, if that's your goal, then Coinbase might not be the best route to do this. And I'm going to recommend a better route, but there's all kinds of different exchanges and different ones have different fees. So the one I recommend here for staking is Binance. I'll leave a referral link in the description for Binance if you guys want to sign up. But on Binance, you can actually at the current time stake three different coins and they just introduced staking very recently. So I imagine a lot of new coins will show up here even by the time you're watching this, if you're watching it in the near future. And if you're not in the US, you'll want to use Binance.com and there's even more options for Binance.com. So here are all the options on Binance.com. I imagine that over time, Binance.us will look more like Binance.com. So there's definitely a lot of options on here. It's quite impressive. This is compared to just the two options here on Coinbase, which is Tezos and the USD coin. So definitely would recommend Binance. And the benefit with Binance is that it is fee free. Yeah, you heard that right. So instead of 25%, it's actually 0% fee. So all of the returns from staking these cryptocurrencies will go to you. This could lead to a much larger portfolio over time. And that's probably what I would recommend. So if you want to do that with Binance, here's what you're gonna to need to do. You're gonna to need to register, sign up. And if you go through the KYC verification, you can buy these cryptocurrencies just using like a bank account. However, you could also transfer Bitcoin into your Binance account and purchase one of these cryptocurrencies with that. So for example, if you go to trade and then basic, yes, yeah, definitely not basic looking, but anyways, in here you can go in and select Bitcoin and then you can select Tezos and in this situation you're going to be buying Tezos using Bitcoin so that would be the currency for the purchase. So it's a little bit more complex in terms of this graph and stuff but you don't really need to worry about any of that. You just say either the number of Tezos you want to buy or the amount of Bitcoin you want to spend. If you prefer to use USD then what you can do is you can just go to buy crypto, select the currency, so we'll go with Tezos, and then you can choose your source, either a bank account or a USD balance if you have any on your account. So we'll just go with the bank account, and then you put a number in here, such as 20, and then you buy it. So yeah, my goal here was not to basically teach you how to do it on Coinbase and then tell you not to do that. I just wanted to share the options and at least what I have learned. If you're gonna do this for long-term investments, you probably don't want those large fees. Now, another note is that if you have cryptocurrency in a wallet that's not attached to an exchange, you'll probably want to transfer that into the exchange to do the staking. So for example, this is the Coinbase mobile wallet and it's not attached to my exchange account. So if I had Tezos in here, I would either want to send it to Coinbase or Binance depending on where I wanted to do the staking. So there's a send button, real simple, hit send, put the amount, and then for where to send it to, you just go into whatever exchange you're using, go into your portfolio, select the coin such as Tezos, hit receive, read that, hit I understand, hit I understand again, and then that is the address you're going to use to receive Tezos. All right, that's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. I think the potential for this is huge, especially as more and more people adopt cryptocurrencies these currencies could go up in value and that would be on top of the extra cryptocurrency you get from staking. So you might get, you know, five or 6% from staking. And then if the cryptocurrencies go up in value 6%, you're getting a pretty high return on investment. Obviously that's some speculation because I don't know what the price is gonna be. Nobody knows for sure. However, it's very promising the, the future of cryptocurrency. So I'm pretty excited. And as part of my investment strategy, I'm probably going to try to do a lot of staking. All right, well, I'm sick of hearing the word stake because I'm starving. So I'm gonna get going, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments section below. Oh, and please hit that subscribe button. Slap it, destroy it. I need those subs. And the only way I can get that is with your help. So thank you guys. And that's all I got in this one. See you next time.